Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here and I had a subscriber ask me if I would talk with you guys for just a little bit about myostatin deficiency. Now, everyone always likes to throw up these photos of the Belgian Blue Bull, which has a natural myostatin deficiency. The entire, that particular line of animal does. And they always act like it's a great thing. All these supplement companies try to push this as something useful for humans because it is something that happens very rarely in humans. It's a terrible genetic disorder. And people are always like, oh, that lucky person, man, they're going to gain muscle so fast. And it's like, it baffles the mind that people see something like that and honestly think that way. Without realizing this is actually a terrible condition, that yes, they do hold twice the amount of muscle that anyone else will at their age, their weight, their size, whatever. Uh, obviously not weight, but they'll have twice the muscle that an untrained person does without working out. That doesn't mean their life is great. It doesn't mean they don't have major health problems as a result of it. It doesn't mean that their childhood isn't painful. That's the thing that you need to realize. This is an actual medical condition that can shorten your life and reduce your quality of life. And children who have it, it's very, very rare. They feel like freaks because they walk around looking big and ripped, at least compared to everyone, all the other children. They suffer muscle cramps all day, muscle pain, from it. they have to be stretched. Depending on how severe their situation is with it, they have to stretch and stuff every single day just to stop the cramping. And they're looking at uh, a lifetime of pain, particularly while they're growing up. There's nothing lucky about experiencing muscle pain and cramps and contractions all day your entire growth cycle until you're an adult and possibly even as an adult. But while you're growing, that's not cool. That's not lucky. This is actually a serious medical condition that people try to act like it's great because they jump up over into this bodybuilding world. And these companies capitalize on that. They find out it exists and they're always like, oh, we're going to make this product that will inhibit your myostatin. Well, first of all, they don't work. None of them have ever worked. And if they did work, they're not factoring in that you're talking about changing something that is necessary for the survival of our species. Inhibiting myostatin takes the brakes off of your muscle growth, but that muscle growth limit is there for a lot of reasons. It's there to help prevent you from getting injured and hurt and ripping connective tissue completely off the bone. So if you were to inhibit myostatin in certain ways, you'd be at much higher risk of injuring yourselves. Even during day-to-day -day activities, you're going to have all sorts of muscle pains. It can cause all sorts of other health issues around it that they don't even fully understand. So you're talking about a disease that could make it hard for you to even train or work out. And it's like, guys, if you don't mind massive side effects and dying young and having major medical issues, why are you even worried about inhibiting myostatin? There's already drugs out there that can risk your health and in exchange give you large amounts of muscle size. So I don't know why people are even worried about this. Again, other than the supplement industry trying to convince you that some pond algae or something else that they found is going to give you magical drug-like gains without being a drug. Although if it gives you gains, then of course it will be classified by the FDA as a drug and be banned anyways. So that's the ridiculous part of all of it that people forget. At the end of the day, if something is proven to have anabolic properties medically, it goes on the list of banned drugs. The FDA regulates it once it's proven to actually help you gain muscle. Think about that for a minute because it's now a drug. So you know this stuff doesn't work or hasn't been proven to work. But the thing is, they're capitalizing on a serious medical condition that is actually detrimental to people and detrimental to children growing up and pretending like this medical condition is something they can replicate with a supplement to help you gain muscle and then charge you $80 a bottle for it. So again, this falls into the area of hustle, scams, cons. It needs to be pretty much just rejected. Don't listen to it. Don't buy this sort of nonsense and realize that this is just an attempt to capitalize and market a medical disorder that is horrible for children growing up. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.